Welcome to Trojan TV. This is the first ever broadcasted lacrosse game for the Trojans. I'm Jack Denny, a senior here at Jinx High School, joined by Sam Stone, a junior here at Jinx High School. Um, Sam, talk us a little bit about this game right before we get going here in three minutes. Just talk a little bit about this game and, and what the stakes are. Yeah, definitely, Jack. Um, I think this is definitely a big game for both teams. Um, having having being a uh, lacrosse player in the past, I've been a part of this game. And it's definitely one that I know the Jinx guys look forward to. And I'm pretty sure knowing some of the Cashier guys that they look forward to it too. So um, a, lot of, a lot of close relationships between guys on this team with the guys who are teammates in the summer. Um, but yeah, so definitely a high stakes game, definitely a bragging rights game, but also to look good on each other's record going into the playoffs. Sure thing. It should be a really good game here at Allen Trimble Stadium. We're going to step aside just for a little bit as these captains meet at midfield for the first time on Trojan TV history. Um, we'll be back in just a little bit and stay with us on Trojan TV. Starting lineup. And we're back here on Trojan TV, the first ever lacrosse game. I'm Jack Denny, a senior here at Jinx High School, like I said earlier, joined by Sam Stone, former lacrosse player yes, um, and now a football player for the Jinx Trojans. Sam, talk a little bit about your junior season for the football team and, and what do you guys uh, expect going into the senior season? Yeah, we definitely we had a, I think we had a great run definitely there in the playoffs postseason. Definitely had a rough start, um, but, you know, turned things around and picked it up for the end of the season. Um, unfortunately lost to the Spartans in the in the state final game but um, coming up this next season we got a lot of returning starters I'm pretty sure we have eight returners on the defense I'm not sure how the offense looks because we got some guys that are um, looking to play both ways this season um, but yeah definitely looking to go on a good run this year and hopefully dominate the 6a uh, football and talk a little bit about the new addition of your offensive coordinator yeah, I've had some uh, great conversations with Coach Wilkinson. I think he's going to be a great addition to our team. Um, having, a, having a great track record coming from Fayetteville with a state, cha state championship last season with those guys. Um, different style, different tempo. Um, we're in, we're in uh, installing stuff right now in meetings, and, and it, it's, it's, it's getting me excited. So definitely exciting to, to start talking football again about this time of year. So, yeah. 
Trojans will return uh, around August. I think we'll also have a spring game um, coming up relatively soon. Um, Trojan TV will be broadcasting every single game home That's and crazy. away. So make sure you guys uh, click that little red subscribe button and hit the bell. You guys get all the notifications. We upload content every single day, uh, pretty much every single day. Interviews with players, coaches, teachers, staff, um, you name it. So make sure you guys subscribe to Trojan TV. We have everything on here. Um, and you can also go back and watch these games that we broadcast. Uh, we've had football, basketball, soccer so far. And uh, we're gearing up right now for our very first lacrosse game. Should be a very interesting game. The Casha Hall Commodores coming into Jinx America to take on our very own Trojans. Should be a really good game here, Sam. Yes, sir. Um, as, a, as a football player, I'm a guy who definitely really um, is grateful for this program you guys got going here. Um, I know my grandparents and, and, and family members that live far away that can't come to games they, they tune in to almost every game that I watch and it means a lot to me and I know it means a lot to them and I'm sure we got people now tuning in from maybe some other states or at least eventually will um, to watch their kids or, or family members or friends come play this great game of lacrosse so definitely grateful what for what Mr. Prince and Trojan TV has got going over here yeah and while we're on that topic just shout out to everyone working on this Trojan TV crew tonight um, and especially a big shout out to Mr. Mason Prince who uh, made this all happen and made this all uh, made this all work? So should be a really good game today, Sam. On the field right now, about midfield, we got um, some sort of tip off. I'm not really sure yeah. uh, what it is. Just just kind of talk about what's going on here. Yeah. So there you see the goalies shaking hands. They're getting ready to go. Usually gets pretty loud about this time. Um, but yeah, player. The, so on the field right now is all the starters for both teams shaking hands, saying good luck. You know, it's kind of like a like a second. Um, coin toss type deal um or the players just get to the refs go over some rules players get to shake hands um get excited for their team and get ready for the game so here we go and we're gonna get a so, version of a tip off <laughs> for the face cross off. yeah face off um and uh, i'm trying to see looks what, like no, luke mckinelli all right luke face off um he's a freshman so young guy but but big he weighs about 235 plays d-line for us so um we'll see what he can do here big freshman set to face off here see if he can win it for the trojans <clears throat> guy for the other team i'm pretty sure is number three graham kennedy yes i used to face off against him when i was Younger, he was, he was, he's a, he's a good player. But there you go, Jinx wins the faceoff. Jake Mahaney here, running with the ball, trying to make something happen. Running behind the goal here, slipping a little bit, gets it off. Jinx gonna look to get something going. Thumb on the ball there, number zero, Jack McAnally, the brother of Luke, kind of directing traffic here, making a move. Nice pass there. Swinging it around are the Trojans. Carson Mariska here, also a varsity basketball player, was a big part of the Trojan season this year. Looking for something. Spinning around. Takes a shot. That one's off target Solid barely. One. Really nice shot there from Carson Mariska. Just barely off target. First shot of the game for him. Good take. Trojans trying to respond quickly. Kasha Hall takes it away. Running down the field now is number three. Sprinting towards the goal as fast as he can. Trojans trying to stop him. Shot there from Cash Hall, blocked by Wiltshire. Nice block there Great from the goalkeeper. The goalie. yeah. and way, way, to go. way to go from the Trojans, taking the, the four on three and, and getting a good stop there on the fast break. McAnally giving it to his junior counterpart, Carson Mariska, scanning and gives it up to Jake Flowers. <clears throat> Jake here swings it to number six, I believe. And he gives it to Carson Mariska, takes another shot, slams that one towards the goalkeeper uh, who saves it. That and looks like it almost went in there. Yeah. Shot nearly goes in. Cash Hall's goalkeeper outlets here. It's about the 50-yard line, and the Commodore is going to look to respond. With the ball right now is number 17, Owen Darby. Um, he had a semester at IMG Academy last year and transferred back to Cash Hall. So he, he's a great lacrosse player, fast twitchy type of guy down at the attack position um, looking to make some plays for Kasha tonight. Trojans on defense here. See if they can stop the Commodores in this fast-paced game already so early on. 
Jack Wiltshire, the big goalkeeper, just absolutely towers in that goal. He is a big guy. And that one's blocked away by number 11, Ramsey Reinhardt. He's trying to save it here. Physical battle. And the ball is loose. The Trojans fighting for it. And they give it up to Wiltshire. He's outletting now. Gets it ahead to number 22, Braxton Talent. Looking for something. Nice pass to Mariska. Coughs it up. Gives it back to Mariska. Trojans trying to reset here. Get a little substitution going. The pass that just happened there between 6 and 15. There, there are some guys who I played with last season, both freshmen that played on the varsity team, guys with experience. Um, definitely look to make a statement this season in their sophomore year. Jack McAnally powering through, nearly gets the shot to go. That one's bounced off of a Commodore, and the ball is being fumbled around a little bit here. Number four, Tice Cole pushing ahead, and now it's going to be number 19, Definitely. Whelan. Yeah. Whelan gives it to Mariska. Whelan is a freshman as well. Sam, so many freshmen on this team, like you said, and, and really a, a lack of seniors, it looks like. What, what does that mean for the, the future of this program, having such a young team? I think it's a great thing to look, uh, to look at because we got, I mean, I can count. I mean, we got two freshman attack guys. We got freshman Luke McAnally uh, doing face-offs. Um, a lot of young talent on this team, and I know in the in the youth leagues we got a bunch of guys too. So I think definitely a bright future for the Jinx Lacrosse program, and I think Coach Rosa is doing some great things down there. Um, definitely headed in the right direction for Jinx Lacrosse for sure. And a nice block there from Wiltshire prevents a Commodore score. What a block there from Wiltshire, Sam. Just uh, being good friends with Jack. Talk about yep. uh, just how good he is at, at goalkeeper. Yeah, I've played with Jack since um, probably about fourth grade, and he's he's just a hard worker, dude. He's always got a passion. He's a big communicator to his defense. He um, always lets them know where the ball's at and make sure we're in the right defense, make sure they're sliding correct, and, and, and just a great leader for the defensive side of the ball and for the team. He played also as a freshman two, two years ago for us, which was – and had, had, a, had a good season then, too. Trojans trying to defend the Commodore's push here as they swing it around uh, pretty gingerly here. Not, not much of an attack, attacking nature until just now as number three is taking it to the goal. Nice shot there, blocked by Wiltshire. He's had a great game so far early on. Great save by Wiltshire. He's, he's doing solid so far. If, if I'm counting right, I'm pretty sure that's three saves already. I've seen him have have twenty plus save games, so um, yeah, def definitely a, a brick wall in the goal tonight. Going to be tough for the for Casha Hall to get some goals, hopefully. Flowers trying to get past the Commodores here. Now into McAnally's McAnally's scanning here, making a move, trying to get past. Nice shot there for McAnally. That one barely bounces outside the goal. I don't know, Jack. I think they're going to start falling for the Trojans here pretty soon. Trojans have got some really nice quality shots here so far as Whelan is, is backing out and gets it to McAnally. Once again, nice spin move. Spins back the other way. Takes a nice wow. shot. Goal from Money. Jack McAnally. What a shot wow. to put the Trojans up 1-0 here midway through this first period. What a shot there from Jack wow. McAnally, Sam. That was beautiful. Yeah, lefty, big lefty guy who's, who's fast, twitchy guy. Um, loves to get back to that left hand, and, can, and he can rip it, dude. Being with a guy who's played with him, that he can shoot really fast. Um, going to be tough for this cash hall goalie to, to stop his shots when he gets in open space like that. McAnally with a great shot. Sam, what does it mean to be up uh, early in this game against a team that's as good as the Commodores? Yeah, totally. Um that, that definitely means a lot in these big games. Up, um, uh, momentum, early momentum. Um, here we go on a fast break. Mahaney taking control here, circling back out. But uh, back to what you were saying, Sam. Yeah, um, definitely definitely momentum in these big games early is is, is awesome. But um, definitely got to know in the back end of his mind that Cash Hall is a great team with a lot of speed, a lot of talent, um, great stick skills, pretty disciplined, great coach um, for Cash Hall too. So – I wouldn't be surprised if they got back in this game pretty quick. 
Weaving in and out, blocked by the Commodores. It was a good shot, though, by uh, Jack Doremus. And the ball is being pushed ahead here by Kasha. This is number 91, Max Fleming, one of my buddies, who um, has had some injury trouble in the past, but um, he's having a great season so far um, with, with Kasha. So I'm, I'm happy to see him succeed, and I, I hope he has a good game tonight. Kasha Hall pressing up against the Trojans now, trying to get something to work. Here we go. Nice spin move there from the Commodore 52. Kasha makes a move. Nice defense there from number 59. Stone Farrell, and that's another, another nice block. Another good save, man. Yeah, a good, good way to get open from Max Fleming, getting back to the left hand. He is another left-handed guy. That's such an asset to have on a team um, that many people may not know about, but having a lefty on a team is huge. As you can see, Jack McAnally, a big producer. Max Fleming, a big producer for Kasha. Braden Narone, a guy who's injured for the Trojans tonight, but he's a huge producer for the Trojans. Also a left-handed guy. Um, just can really confuse the defense, confuse a goalie. Um, and, and those lefties, they can produce a lot. Here we go with Flowers, number 15. Been pretty prevalent in this game so far. Defending nice spin him, move. Defending him, number five, Gus Griffin. Nice shot there from Flowers, blocked by Cash Hall's goalkeeper. And the ball is bounced loose. Cole with the shot, blocked once again by Cash Hall. Cash Hall's goalie making some pretty nice saves here late in this first period. That one rolls to Del Remus. See what he can do with the ball. Getting Big smacked there. there. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if there was a flag thrown on that, but it's pretty clean. Pretty clean. Getting smacked a little bit there, but shaking it off. Tice Cole trying to make something work. Nice moves. Gets it to Mariska. Sam, uh, something I've noticed so far is how many – oh, excuse me. Hold on. Carson Mariska trying to make something happen. Flowers takes a shot. Oh, that was a close one. Nearly Just gets barely it. nicked the top pipe there. Um, but like I said, something I've been seeing a lot of is is just the prevalence of spin moves. Why, why do you think that is, Sam? You know, I'm not really sure. Um, that's a that's definitely a common move, and some guys can use it to their advantage. Uh, definitely the quicker guys. I know number uh, number 17 on the on Kasha. He he likes to use that move. Jack Mack likes to use that move for the Trojans. Um, Jack Mack getting face guarded. Right oh my now. gosh! <laughs> they're, they're trying to lock him off. They're ooh getting physical over there. Nice but, move from Mariska. Takes a Money. shot. Goal by oh, Mariska. Mariska! What a shot wow. from Carson Mariska. Gets up, pounding his chest. Nice shot as the Trojans huddle up and celebrate their goal, taking a 2-0 lead against the Commodores. That was a sick shot from Carson Mariska. Wow. Sam. Carson Mariska getting open, creating space, and he has a shot too, man. He can shoot that ball really fast. Um, what a guy. Coming straight from basketball. This is probably one of his first games coming off basketball season. So guy who probably just picked up his stick, got out of the garage pretty, pretty recently, and out here scoring goals against one of the best teams in the state. Here we go. Looks like Aiden Air Arnson, excuse me, uh, set for the faceoff here. And he gets it up, scoops it, and he's at the 40, loses oh. a stick. Almost won it there. Kasha getting going now. Jinx with the ball now. That was a great play there from Arnson as he comes off the field now. Great play from Arnson getting the Kasha Hall guy out of bounds and getting the ball back. That's where lacrosse becomes a physical game, especially as, as they're near the sidelines um, where you can push people out of bounds and get the ball back. Sam Kasha being down 2-0. What do you think their, uh, their head coach is thinking right now? Um, coach Crawford's a great guy. I'm sure, I'm sure he's going to be in their ear after this quarter's over. Um, um, oh, here we go. Change of possession maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I have no doubt that um, Coach Crawford is going to be in their ear, um, maybe make some adjustments based off what Jinx is doing schematic-wise. Um, but, yeah, Coach Crawford is actually a pro lacrosse player, plays in the NLL, I'm pretty sure it's called, National Lacrosse League for Panther City Lacrosse Club. He, if 
those who may not know, he's a lacrosse great, actually. So definitely blessed to have a guy like that in Tulsa. I personally have played for him, and um, he's an awesome guy and a great coach and a great leader. Um, loves to set kids up, really helps a lot of these guys get to college to play this game. So, yeah, that's that's who's kind of coaching Cash over here. Going to be a penalty there, it looks like, on Stone Farrell. Yeah, uh, Cash with a free possession here. Yeah. Pretty nice crowd showing up for this this first ever streamed lacrosse game here at Allen Trimble Stadium. If you're just tuning in, I'm Jack Denny, uh, joined by Sam Stone. Uh, it's been a great game so far. The Trojans are up 2-0 to zero on the Commodores with a minute 30 left in this first quarter um, and, and a much and a highly anticipated game. Uh, stick around. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button if you're just now tuning in. Yeah, Jinx, Jinx man down here after the penalty. I didn't catch how long it was for, but Kasha definitely needs to take advantage of this opportunity while they're down two goals here in the first quarter. Um, if they don't score here, it it, it may get ugly, but um, we'll see what Coach Crawford has drawn up for them on this man up here. Nice block there from Wiltshire. Wow. See if he can get possession. Physical battle down here around goal line extended. Looks like it's going to be... Max Fleming for the for Kasha battling it out with two Jinx defenders. Kasha retains possession. Is number five trots along the goal line. That's big for Kasha to, re to retain possession right there and get another look at. They had a great look for goal right there, man. But Jack Wilshire, an absolute brick wall in the goal tonight so far. Nothing's getting by that man tonight, it's looking like. Nice shot there from the Commodores. Big. Looks like another block. Wow. From Jack Wilshire. He's had a phenomenal game so far. Yeah. Uh, really, really just walking on the goal. Big shot from IMG transfer Owen Darby. Um, another guy I played with. He has a very fast shot as well. So definitely a great save by Jack right there. Trojan. And Trojans even now. Oop. Looks like that pass. Wow. Oh. Uh, Sam. Talk about what, what, what just happened right there. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I was looking at the box, and I saw that Jinx was about to get even with them, and then something happened near the goal. I think the ref said the ref said no goal, though. So Jinx with the ball. Kasha Hall does not score on the man up. That's not ideal for them. Jack McAnally. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Tanking defenders. Oh, my and God. a nice shot from Jack McAnally. What a wow. freaking play. You can add that one to the highlight Absolutely reel. Absolutely bulldozing through this oh Cash Hall gosh. defense with seven seconds left on the clock. Jack McAnally wow. with a huge goal to go up 3-0. What a shot. And just an overall play from Jack McAnally to – to put a, a bow on this first quarter, that was an absolutely amazing play to wow. watch. Yeah. Wow, Jack McAnally taking over this game. It looks like it's the game of the Jacks here. Yeah. Wiltshire and McAnally just having uh, some really early on success so far. Jack McAnally playing like the 220-pound the linebacker that he is on this lacrosse field, man. But, man, he can move too. See him get open like that. That's impressive, man. He's a great player. And Jake Mahaney going to take us into this second quarter here. That's going to do it for this first quarter. Make sure you guys stick around. We'll be back in just a little bit um, for this second quarter. K Jinx Trojans up 3-0 to zero on the Cash All Commodore. Stick around on Trojan TV. Ladies and gentlemen, restrooms are located on either side of the concession stand, which is 
is on the south side of the stadium. And while you're up, don't hesitate to grab some delicious snacks. Chest snacks. Or snow cone snacks. I apologize. All right, we return to you right before the commencement of this second quarter. Sam, it was a great first quarter. Talk about your thoughts um, on that first quarter from the Trojans. Definitely a great first half from the Trojans. Great, or uh, not first half, first quarter. <laughs> um, Jack Wiltshire with, um, I'm not even sure how many saves. I, I kind of lost count there. I would guess seven to ten. Um, but, yeah, definitely a great half from the Trojans. Um, good, solid offensive possessions. Great stop on the man down opportunity there. Um, Kasha definitely wishes that they could have capitalized on the opportunity. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what the, what the, what Kasha has to, to offer this second quarter. Maybe they can get a little comeback going before halftime. While we stepped away, there was a penalty on the field. Um, Sam kind of explained what happened right there. Yeah. My buddy, Max Fleming, number 91 down there got stick check. So in lacrosse, um, in high school at least what they do is every quarter they check a player they check a player from each team stick there's all these different um, rules and regulations regarding um, a, what a legal stick looks like um, I'm not sure exactly what his is um, but it regards like it, the pocket being too deep um, if the face is too pinched and the ball can't come out um, there's all different regulations there's measurements um, and number 91, Max Fleming, gets called for a legal stick, and that puts the Trojans' man up for a little bit here to start the second quarter. Trojans' man up here. They have a opportunity. They take it. And Carson Mariska adds on to the Trojans' scoreboard, leading 4-0 now. He has two as well as McAnally, two apiece for the junior tandem as the Trojans take a 4-0 lead, very commanding lead here, um, only in the second quarter. At the wow. very beginning. Wow, what a very nice play drawn up there by the head coach for the Trojans. Sam, um, just talk a little bit about how important it is to take advantage of the man-up uh, situations. That's huge. I mean, it's really it's really a pain when you do not score on a man-up opportunity. Um, so for the Trojans to capitalize there is awesome. That's going to that's gonna be very beneficial for them. Oh, my gosh. Luke McAnally just manhandling the Commodore. <laughs> wow. wow. The freshman just absolutely took advantage of the Commodore right there. 240-pound D lineman at faceoff is, is a scary sight. Um, yeah, Luke McAnally taking control over the faceoff X. Trojans rotating so many bodies out. Sam... How, what does that speak to in terms of depth uh, on this team? Totally, yeah. I think Coach Rose has got a great rotation going here. Um, we're still man up, so um, definitely the Trojans looking to score here. But the reason for the subbing is to keep fresh, fresh legs on the field. That is a very important thing in lacrosse um, with how much running is involved. I mean, you're playing on a, on a massive field going up and down at all times. Um, so keeping fresh legs on the field is very important. It looks like Coach Rose has got a great rotation going here for the Trojans. Looks like another uh, man up situation for the Trojans here. See if they can take advantage once again. McAnally swinging it here. Nice shot blocked by Great the save. Commodore. Rebound. There you go from Wheel, and that one tipped into the air and saved by Jack McAnally slipping, uh, but he saves it. <laughs> That's a really big save right there. For Jack Mack. Jack Mack and they haul around 220 pounds. Pretty easy for him to slip there. <laughs> <laughs> Tice Cole swings it to Mack and Nelly. Back to Cole now. Mariska dumps it off. Number Ooh. number six, Doremus had the shot. Narrowly missed it. Trojans keeping the pressure on Kasha Hall tonight. <laughs> Still man down, Kasha. This is a long penalty. Yeah. It's about to get released, though. Trojans taking uh, advantage as much as they can here. That was a little bit of a miscue right there. Going to give the Commodores the ball. Uh, and it looks like this this penalty period is coming to an end shortly. Yep, there we go. Caster just runs on a guy. They are even now. 
it's officially back to six versus six. Commodore is pushing up. Graham Kennedy with the ball. Trojans displayed some really good defense tonight. Jack Wiltshire having an amazing performance. Number 15, Mason Holmes with the ball right now. Passes to Clive Kimbrough. Now Gus Griffin. Commodore's looking to get something going. Down 4-0 here with 9.30 to go in the second quarter. Nice move there from 15. Takes a shot blocked once again. Might have been off the post. Um, I want to go off the post there for, the, for the, the Commodores. Yeah, definitely a close call there for the Trojans. I'm not sure what happened there on the defensive side, but but definitely need to get the slides checked and make sure everything's locked down. I saw the goal move there, so I know that ball hit the post. Beautiful night out here for the Trojans. Good good little sunset we got going here. Yeah. Beautiful clouds, beautiful day. Great weather. It's good spring weather. Great day for great night for a lacrosse game. About to head into spring break. Uh, as a matter of fact, last day of school for me and Sam. Yeah, buddy. Getting ready for, for a nice little spring break trip. What you got going for a spring break, Jack? <laughs> going on a, a service project down uh, in Guatemala through Jinx Young Life. Should be really good. Going to go um, pour some concrete um, and help out some families in need um, down in Guatemala in the Chisic area. If you guys are listening, just send your prayers uh, towards towards me and, and Jinx Young Life. It would be much appreciated. Um, and it should be really fun down there. Um, Sam, what about you? I'm taking my me and my family are taking my first trip up to Disney World, so I'm pretty excited for that. <laughs> That's gonna be a good one. Yes, sir. A little scramble here. Mariska scoops it up here. So what what Mariska just did there is called getting a touch, is what it's called. Um, they have to be inside the. Oh, he actually didn't. Now he did. Okay, there we go. Um. What, that's, what that rule is, is if they don't get the ball inside the 30 and inside the numbers within a certain amount of time of possession on the other side of the field, then it's a they give the ball to the other team. It's almost like a 10-second violation in basketball is what it's comparable to. Hmm. McAnally kind of swallowed up right there. Wonder if... Nice wow. shot! Oh, oh my gosh, off. what a freaking Woo. shot from... Do Remus, that was a nice shot from Jack Do Remus to put the Trojans up 5-0. Wow. Helmet comes off and everything. He got hammered on that play. What a shot. I don't even know if I don't know what Cash Hall can do at this point. They're they're getting smoked. Yeah. I'm not sure if he even saw the goal when the ball was coming out of his stick there, but what a great shot by Jack De Remus, a uh, uh, young guy with experience um, in his freshman year having a breakout sophomore year this season. Wow. Nice shot there. Took Let's his see. helmet and everything. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he got he got obliterated by a cast <laughs> defender, but it was a legal hit. So, lacrosse is a very physical game. Looks like Arnsden again. Arnsden's got some speed on him, man. Oh, my gosh. Fine. Oh, my gosh. Takes a shot. Nearly got it. Jack. I mean, excuse me, um, Sam. What do you think? Why? Why are the why are the players sticking their sticks out right there at the end trying so, to trying yeah, to get possession? Yeah, totally. That rule is in lacrosse where if a shot's um, taken, the ball actually goes to the first team to the end line. So mm. that's what they're they're trying to beat the guy next to them, and it's anybody power. If your stick passes first, then you win, and you your team gets the ball there. So it's definitely a, an, a, a different rule, a unique rule, but it's something that makes the cross a hustle sport. Trojans getting a lot of support here in this in this first game we've broadcasted. The stands are are pretty full um, on on the on the home side. Uh, it might not seem like that on the away side. Yeah, uh, they're pretty pretty empty yeah. over there. But uh, a I nice think a lot of them. Oh, and the the Commodores get their very first goal here of the night. Halfway through this second quarter, Sam, what what was what was going on right there? Um, that that looked like a lapse in the defense. Someone cut uh, number fifty-two, John Cannon. I'm pretty sure, um, with a great cut. Uh, young attack guy for Casha Hall. Um, quick, shifty. Not surprised that he got he got open on a good cut there and 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 score on the Trojans for Casha Hall's first goal of the night. 
nice shot there for the Commodores. Cut this lead down to four, uh, five to one here. Halfway through this second quarter. Been a great game so far. Um, been a really good game. Big nasty Luke McAnally back at the faceoff X. <laughs> Jake Mahaney, or excuse me, that's going to be Beckett Halama giving it now. Carson Mariska. And he gets it to DeRamis, who just had the nice goal just before that. Yeah, hot guys right now are definitely McAnally, Mariska, and DeRamis. The Trojans is missing a vital piece of their offense. Um, number nine, Braden Narone, senior committed to Wingate University up in North Carolina. Um, for lacrosse, he is our only college commit on this Jinx Trojan lacrosse team. Another guy with some interest is number zero, Jack McAnally, with interest from um, Ohio State and Utah. I'm not sure where that's going to go, but but definitely awesome to see a guy like that get some get some looks from uh, such great schools. Good. Pressure being applied here by the Trojans. Has a little battle going on at midfield for possession. Commodores flying in. Trojans oh. can't hang on to it as that ball bounces out of bounds. And it's going to be Commodore ball. Let's see if the uh, if Casha Hall can take uh, control here and capitalize on this possession. They need, they need one, man. Getting close to halftime here. Hopefully they don't get chewed out too hard by Coach Crawford in the locker room. <laughs> Five and a half minutes to go. Wow. My gosh. Physical number, take. Yeah, for sure. Number 91 getting hammered. Graham Kennedy dodging. Commodore's looking for something here. Got to get something if they want to stay in this game. Being down 5-1. Nice pass behind the goal. Dump off pass right there. Ooh, Jack that was a close one, man. All over it. Wow. Good looks from cash offense, though, man. They're getting close. I wouldn't be surprised if some start dropping for them now soon, man. They're Mariska, oh, my gosh, flying. Gets it off. Oh, mishandled the ball right there. Could have been a goal for number four, Tice Cole, it looked like. It's all right. That one going to be a little battle at midfield here. Jake Mahaney. That one nearly intercepted commodore is going to pull it out here young guy clive crimbo number 21 with the ball um he's i'm pretty sure he's had a had a had a good role with this cash out offense here um i haven't watched a lot of their games but from what i have seen he's he's and been playing with him in the past he's played a pretty good role it's like Kasha. number 11 ramsey reinhardt on defense there big check by ramsey oh my gosh Coming down on on the ball carrier. Wow. That shot is good for the Commodores. They rally off their second goal right there, and it's wow. going to be five to two with four minutes remaining in this second quarter. Sam, what did you see from that goal? Yeah. And, uh, and just talk a, lot, a little bit about a it. A lot going on there. Totally, yeah. Number 17, um, Owen Darby, as I said, transferred from IMG Academy a few semesters ago. Uh, the Castro there was running what's called a two-man game. It's almost like a pick and roll in basketball. Um, it's very common in the modern day lacrosse. Uh, you see it at very high levels, up in the college levels and the pro levels. Um, he gets open, draws a draws a slide, um, which is basically help defense. When a slide is whenever uh, one defender gets beat, another another defender slides to help him. Um, he actually ended up with three defenders on him there, getting absolutely beat up, but he. <laughs> Uh, pushed through it, man, and got the goal for the for Cash Hall there. So great possession for Cash. Let's see what they can do here. Nearing four minutes away from halftime. I don't know if we can get a shot of this sunset right now. I don't know if, if the viewers can see this, but this sunset is something else. It's beautiful, man. It's a great night for lacrosse. Wow. It's really good weather out here um, for the Trojans and Commodores. That shot narrowly misses – Commodore's going to retain possession, though. Trojan's got to get this game under control. Don't want to slip away uh, after a 5-0 lead. Timeout from the ref here. We got a guy tying his shoe. Looks like Ramsey Reinhardt. Let's go, Ramsey. <clears throat> Trojan's going to do their best to hold on to this lead. Kasha, Up three. 
Cash is making a sub here, getting number 17, Owen Darby, back on the field. The guy who wouldn't be surprised if they tried to get him the ball here after his goal he just made. Nice dump off pass once again. That one wow. blocked by Jack Wiltshire. Wiltshire, man. He's had a phenomenal first half. That one nearly scooped up by Beck and Alama. He's going to fight for it. Yeah. And that's going to be blown and dead. They're going to call the flag on number five here, I, I'm thinking. He, he got his head with the check. <laughs> I see a flag down, but <laughs> some arguments going on between the refs and the players here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw number five, Beckett's stick hit. Um, I'm pretty sure number 21, when he was on the ground, I'm pretty sure he hit his head there. Yeah, there he goes. And Halama going to check out here in favor of number 57, I believe. Evan Simsack coming on the field for Beckett. Very, very um, fast, physical guy for the Trojans. Uh, definitely not afraid for contact. Wouldn't be surprised if he had some big hits tonight. Um, he, he's definitely an aggressive uh, type of guy. Not afraid to use his stick, not afraid to use his body um, to, to keep the other team from scoring. Commodore's got it now. Swinging it around. Pressing up. Fakes the dump off pass. Hidden ball trick here. Doesn't amount to anything. The Trojans. Oh, there's another Maybe slash another. for the Trojans. Evan Simsack gets Owen Darby. Just barely catches his helmet there, but that's a penalty right in front of the ref, man. Cash with a free possession here. Let's see what they can do. Trojans got to get another stop, and I think that one might have been. Uh, I don't know if it was off of Wiltshire or off the goal, but it, it was a good stop by the Trojans nonetheless. 238. Yeah. Got to hold on here for the Trojans. Don't want to give up yet another goal. That would be uh, very crucial. The Trojans two man down here. They are playing four <laughs> oh, versus six. If, the, if, stop. if Kasha Hall cannot score here, that will be detrimental to them, man. We got two of our, our long stick middies who have committed slash penalties. Um but but four on six, man. Let's let's see what they can do here. Trojans looking down right now. Got to get a Out stop. Cash are moving the ball well. Cash wow. taking their time. Nice block Ooh. right there. That's what Nearly. you need. That's what you need, man. Nearly a really big play there for the Trojans as it looks like Jake Mahaney going to drop back here. Yep, we gained Cut the this guy. down. To six B five. Mm -hmm. Helps the Trojans out a little bit. Trojans, this would be an absolutely crucial play to get a stop uh, being down six V four. Zone, uh, whenever you're man down in, in, in lacrosse, most teams, you're kind of forced to play a zone type of defense, which is not definitely not ideal for lacrosse. Most teams like to be in man. Trojans holding on here. A minute 30 to go, and they add their sixth guy back, and the crowd is letting. Wow. They held, man. Wow. That's impressive. Really big deal right there. Four the on six, and Casa does not capitalize. That, that's that's, that's going to be detrimental for them. When they're watching this film back, they, they might get uh, some heated conversations going on <laughs> in, their, in their film room. <laughs> A minute 20 here. Or 17, trying to make something happen. Good defense by J.J. Emmons. Wow, really good defense. That one's going to be tipped up into the air. Trojans get possession. Ground ball. Here we go. Braden Thompson down the sideline. Braden Thompson, nice pass right there. Gets it to the Commodores. <laughs> Stolen by the Commodores, and they're going to have a chance to. One minute here to go. Let's see what they can do. <laughs> Another penalty coming out from the referee right now. 50 seconds left. Trojans got to hold on. Reinhardt fighting procession right there. Commodores looking to score a goal. There's 40 a flag down. Seconds. You see that uh, flag? Yeah. Huh. So that means Cassie gets a free play. They're, they're holding out. They want the last shot here. Um I definitely agree with that decision. They, they don't want to give Jinx another possession. Jinx offense looking dangerous tonight. But let's see if they can get a ball pass. Brick wall, Jack Wiltshire in the goal here. It's going to be number two. 
Um, Haney. Ball is nearly stolen right there by number 22, Talent. And I think that's that, a half. That thing. should probably do it for this half. Four seconds left to go. Deep shot right there from 17. No and good. it's going to amount to nothing as the Trojans take a 5-2 lead heading into halftime. Sam, what are your thoughts on this first half from the Trojans? Definitely a great half for the Trojans, man. Casha Hall is a great lacrosse team. Um, great coaches on their staff. But, but Jinx is looking hard-nosed, man. Goalie's having a great night. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can come out and um, hopefully Jinx can come back out and keep doing what they're doing. Hopefully Kasha comes out and, and gets on things and gets on them early. They're going to need to have some momentum early in the second half here. Um, I'm sure they're going to get it from Coach Crawford, but um, we'll see. I think for Cash, it's coming down to stick skills. I mean, I'm seeing some drop passes. I'm seeing some some dodging into into guys where they shouldn't. Uh, we're dodging into triple teams, which loses the ball, and, and that uh, it, it equals a turnover, which gives the Trojans' dangerous offense another possession. So definitely excited for the second half. I mean, it's, it's definitely still a game. Uh, Cash is still in it, but excited to see where this heated heated rivalry ends up. What's that? I'm seeing some lightning uh, uh -oh. in, the, in the distance here after that sunset went down, but um, hopefully this game doesn't get canceled, man. Trojans leading five to two. Uh, stick around on Trojan TV. First ever lacrosse game. I'm Jack Denny. This is Sam Stone. Make sure you guys stick around on Trojan TV. Uh, we'll be right back uh, before the next half begins.
We're back on Trojan TV. I'm Jack Denny, joined by Sam Stone. It's a great game here at Jinx America at Allen Trimble Stadium. 5-2 to two lead for the Trojans against the Casha Hall Commodores. Quick shout out to everyone working today for the Trojan TV crew, um, all the video uh, videographers, um, and Sam as well as yes, Mr. Sir. Prince producing it all. Um, been a huge help so far. So it's been a great game. First ever lacrosse game on Trojan TV ever. It's been really great. I mean, Trojan TV has been absolutely spectacular this year. We've done baseball, football, uh, not baseball, sorry, basketball, football, soccer. Um, and you can guys can go and watch that anytime you'd like. Um, that's still up on this YouTube page. You can also go and watch interviews with teachers, uh, players, um, students, coaches. They're all on this YouTube page, so make sure you guys subscribe. It only helps us out um, and allows us to do uh, even more things with this amazing program. So um, it should be a great second half here. Five to two lead for the Trojans, like I said earlier. Um, and it's about to get underway with Luke McAnally, I believe, set to face off here. Yeah, big nasty Luke here at the face off <laughs> X. 240 pound D lineman, um, see what he can do. He's been, he's been pretty dominant tonight, man. So we agree. Yeah. Second half kicks off here. McAnally trying to power through. <laughs> Trojans starting a man down. I'm not sure why. I think the penalty carried over from the second half that, mm. that we saw. But, yeah, Kasha could potentially start the second half here with a lot of momentum, man. They're, they're man up. Let's see. They, they have, they've kind of struggled man up here in the first half. Let's see what they can do in the second half. Maybe they've drawn something up with Coach Crawford. Yeah, but definitely a big shout-out to Trojan TV and the crew. Um, as a guy, as a football player who's who's went back and watched a lot of the YouTube streams and, and um, seen it, uh, definitely grateful to, to be involved with it and see how much work really goes into it. These guys work really hard, and, and there's, there's a lot bigger crew than you would think that helps put on this uh, type of deal. Completely agree. Trojans, there you go. Trojan fans getting fired up right there with that. Uh, defensive possession right there. See if Kasha can respond now. They're moving it around pretty well. Jinx is even now. Kasha, again, does not answer on the man-up opportunity. I'm not sure why they were not more aggressive there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not understanding that. But Jinx back to man, uh, back to even here. Let's see what they can do. Trojans get a man back and go straight into man defense. Sam, what do you think is, is the reason behind that? Um, I think the, the matching up man is, I mean, uh, that's, that's kind of the, the alpha defense in lacrosse. It's kind of what everyone should run. But um, zone, zone creates holes and gap. Whoa, Luke McAnally diving for a ball there. Man. <laughs> that's an athletic kid right there. But, yeah, totally. Man defense just gives the advantage, um, especially it's kind of like a, 
um, I'm more athletic than you type of deal. Um, mm. And also, I mean, if you're a good defense, you know how to if, – if a guy gets beat, you got to know how to rotate. Um, and that's just a vital part of lacrosse is knowing how to do that. So definitely gives you a big upside to play man over zone. Going into man, what do you think that says about uh, the head coach for Jinx's uh, confidence in his team and in his players? Yeah, totally. I mean, um, like I said, man is, is kind of the, the thing to run at all levels of lacrosse. Um, but I think it, it definitely displays a trust in your athletes and trust that they know they know how to slide, they know how to rotate, um, and, and then they know what they're doing and that they're athletic enough to to man up and play against um, some of the best athletes in the state here for Kasha Hall. Kasha Hall's goalie just flings that one out of bounds, displays a little bit of frustration, probably a miscue right there. Uh, yeah. It looks like. Went for the Hail Mary. It didn't pay off, man. Jack McAnally oh. narrowly steps out, it looks like. pushed out of bounds by the Kasha Hall attackman there. Unfortunate there for Jack McAnally. He, if he would have got past him, he probably had a, a wide open lane yeah. to the goal. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised he didn't bulldoze him there. but Trojans falling back into a man once again. Yeah. Trojans even here now. Cash are running the two-man game. Trying to get something going. Down three against the Trojans at home. That one's going to be Trojan ball as it wow. bounces out of bounds. Here we go. Let's see if the, the Trojans can clear it here. Cash are running the, the midfield wall. This is called a ride. So what Cash is in right now is called a ride. And um, Oh, I'm wrong, actually. They're not running that zone deal. They're, they're manned up here on the ride. Um but, yeah, it looks like Jinx is doing a pretty easy job clearing it. Kasha oh. with a weak ride, and Jinx takes advantage of it, gets it down the field. Jinx has got some screamers. Just, I mean, some really fast kids on the team. Like, just, wow. Number yeah. six, Doremus, had the goal earlier to put the Trojans up by three. He, he's a fast kid. Yeah, having a breakout season. Yeah, he's, he's a fast kid with some good experience. Had a good season last year. Um, excited to see how the rest of his season goes, man. On the goal pass to Cole here. Young guy Getting shoved Cole. off the ball a little bit. Commodore scoop up possession now. Here we go. Cash a hall with the with the clear here, getting it down the field. That one bounces into Reinhardt's lap right there. He's gonna take this one. Yeah. See if he can get something going now. Nice Scott, a nice skip pass there to Halama, who scoops it up. Good hustle there from number 42 on the other side of the field, man. He chased that ball down, but uh, didn't turn out his way. Trojans having a nice beginning to the second half. Mariska chasing him down here. Nearly gets it. Oh. Mariska couldn't get to him right before the 50-yard line right there. Jake Mahaney being real physical. Number 37. 57, excuse me. Oh. Getting a little choppy down here, man. Yeah, Simsack. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw a flag go up here. Simsack getting physical. That one rolls out of number four's hands. Got to be frustrated about that one. Yeah, like I said, man, Simsack, a hard-nosed, uh, very physical type of guy, man. He's not afraid to, to go hit somebody, which can sometimes end up in a penalty, but usually it's pretty good. Talkington here swings it to Flowers now. McAnally, he had two goals earlier in the game. Looking to add on his third for a hat trick. Nice pass, it looked like. So, number 19, uh, Whelan gets it to Cole. And it's going to stay wow. Trojan ball. Wow. Yeah. Good to see Luke talking in the game. Um, senior, watch him, watch him play a game last year where he scored four goals in a single game. McAnally swings it to Talkington here. Jack McAnally out here commanding this offense like the like the great leader he is. Mariska has it now. <laughs> Dancing across the 40-yard line. Ducks under. Good defense there from Kasha. Flag up. be a penalty here. Wow, Jinx with a free possession. They need, they need to take care of the ball here. Yeah, there we go. Good deal. Jinx, Jinx gets a free possession. This is a big opportunity 
big possession for them. If they turn the ball over here, they get it right back because there's a flag down. Flowers scanning, gets it to McAnally. Spins, gets it back to Flowers. Nice shot there Boom. from Flowers. And it's a nice goal there from Flowers to give the Trojans a four-point lead. Slings that one to the wow. back of the net. Cash Hall Commodore just going to do anything about it. Nice shot there from Flowers on the penalty. Sam, what did you think about that goal there from Mr. Jake Flowers? Beautiful, beautiful pass. Beautiful drawn kick from Jack McAnally. Spins back to his left hand, draws a slide. Kicks to Jake Flowers, um, and Jake Flowers' sophomore rips the shot right past this Cash Hall goalie who is having a little bit of a tough night um, stopping these shots from the Jinx, the Jinx players, man. It looks like it's going to be is this big, nasty Luke. I think it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he can do here. Luke McAnally fighting for possession here. Whoa. Gets caught up a little bit. Surprised they didn't call something there, man. Graham Kennedy wins the faceoff over Luke McAnally this time. Oh, wow. Nice move from the Commodore there, number three. A lot of pressure from number 57, Evan Simsack there. Um, Graham Kennedy deals with it well, though. And gets the ball to Max Fleming. Trojans once again. Looking like they're going into his zone. Wouldn't be surprised if Max Fleming. Oh. Cash retains possession. <clears throat> nice move there from the Commodore. Trojan's playing an electric defense, really physical. Making sure the Commodores can't get near the goal. Yeah, wow. Well, Trojans definitely um, look like the more physical team tonight. Um, that's something we take pride in the football program, too. Um, I think it's coached into his bite. Ooh. Oh, another nice block there from Wiltshire, it looked like. Wiltshire brick wall commanding the defense. He's, he's hype after that save, man. Big check from Stone Farrell. Oh, my gosh. Just manhandling Kasha Hall right there. Trojan's physicality cannot be uh, overstated. They played really well today. The Trojans are definitely the larger and and probably faster team, you could say. Um, but Kasha, Kasha has some good stick skills um, and good schemes. Um, but Jinx definitely taking the physicality battle this game, man. Nice shot there. And a roll out of bounds. Gus Griffin down the down the right alley there. Jack Wiltshire barking at his <laughs> defenders. <laughs> Needs a little bit more, a little bit more physicality. Can't let those shots happen. Leading six to two are the Trojans here. Late into this third quarter has really flown by. Yeah, this this third this third quarter is flying by fast, man. Beautiful night out here. Seventy degrees. Great night for a lacrosse game. That's kind of a crucial drop there. He was open for a shot. Nice. Oh, off his head. Block right there off the head. Into the stands. Of number 33, uh, J.J. Emmons. J.J. Emmons with the hard head absolutely eats that shot from number five, Gus Griffin. <clears throat> Command the uh, Castle Hall needing a goal here. Pretty desperately. Nice physicality there from the – oh, my gosh. Just, wow, what a play. Oh, whoa. Oh. Some jarring right there from Kasha some Hall's number 91. Number 91, Max Fleming. And it's going to be a penalty. And that's a penalty. <laughs> He's going to be pissed about that one. He hasn't seen the flag down yet. Wow. He has not seen – oh, there he sees it, yeah. Some chirping going on between yeah, the commandos and the Trojans. going to result in number 91 jogging off the field. Yeah. So uh, a good goal right there from the commandos is going to end in, in a little bit of a heartbreak. Yeah, Max Fleming with a very physical play um, made a great pass falling down to his teammate who, who finishes the goal there um, but had to let the guy know what's up. So he, he'll be in the box. You think he'll, wow. he let him know who's boss right there? <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> it looked like it. I want to know what was said down there, man. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna ask those guys after this game. <laughs> wow, he was getting in his face pretty bad. <clears throat> I mean, me personally, that wouldn't have happened, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, if that happens to you on the football field, what's what's going down? Oh man, I don't know. Coach Riggs would be pretty pissed if I um, if I did anything too <laughs> crazy, but but I'm sure my teammates would have my back, man. Yeah. Austin swinging it around here to McAnally gets it oh! to Marissa. He was about to let that one rip. Hoskin gets it to McAnally now. Back to Hoskin. Now Mariska. Hoskin swinging it. Little three-man game between McAnally, Hoskin, and Mariska. Now McAnally taking himself. Nice shot. Right hand. Wow. Nice shot with his right hand for McAnally, but a nice save as well from the Cash Hall goalkeeper. Great display of confidence um, in Jack McAnally. They're a left-handed guy who – who loves ripping with that with that left hand, but he takes a he takes a dodge down the right alley though, and is not afraid to let it go, man. Seeing a lot of new faces here for the Trojans. Uh, Hoskin, I believe, might have just checked out, but uh, deep rotation here for the Trojans in this game. Oh my oh! gosh! Nice move! Oh! Oh! What a freaking Ooh! play by Flowers! He's having a great Jake game. Flowers letting him know what's up out there. Wow! Wow! The juke and the shot for Jake Flowers to take a commanding seven to three lead heading into this fourth quarter with two minutes remaining wow. in the third. That was a really nice shot there from number fifteen, Jake Flowers. Jake Flowers wow. um, put in the agility to the test there and absolutely creating uh, a great amount of space there and ripping a shot right past this cash hall goalie, man. That was, that was really impressive. We got three, two time goal scorers here. We got Mariska, um, McAnally and now flowers um, with the addition of um, Doremus with his goal. And I guess the, the Trojan seven points here. To the Commodores three, uh, Commandos three, excuse me, not Commodores. Yeah. Um, a minute 50 to go here in this third quarter and a crucial fourth quarter coming up. Yeah. I think maybe a problem that is with this cash offense is one of their guys that they have injured. Um, Crew Van Pelt, he has an offer from Hofstra up in New York and um, he was having a great season, suffered an injury. I'm not exactly sure what, but he's sidelined tonight. Um, I know he's had knee trouble in the past. I'm not sure what his injury is tonight, but um, that that could definitely be an issue with their rhythm and flow of their offense, uh, having a crucial guy like that be injured. Fighting for possession right there. And it's going to stay with the commandos. Minute 17 to go. Big dodge up this left alley from Max Fleming. Good defense from Ramsey Reinhardt on number 17, Owen Darby. He's a tough guy to defend. Stone Farrell playing some really good defense today. Oh, that shot's going to bounce. Max Fleming coming around from X. That shot's going to bounce right past Wiltshire's, Wiltshire's head right there. Wow, left-handed Max Fleming. Coming up from X and making a play, man. Giving a spark to this Casha Hall uh, offense with about a minute left in this third quarter. That might just be the spark they needed, man. You never know. 7-4 here. Game just got a lot more interesting heading into this fourth quarter. 50 seconds to go in this third. Max Fleming makes it a three-point game here. Taking matters into his own hands down there. Um, coming up that, coming up that uh, left-hand side from X. Luke McAnally this time wins it on the faceoff and gets absolutely hammered wow. with the stick. I'm surprised there's not a penalty right there. Yeah. Good check from Kasha, man. Oh, my gosh. Kasha upping up Physical the physicality here. Field. Yeah. Hoskin might be able to get to it. Oh! And laid out by the goalkeeper. That, I'm surprised there's not a flag there, man. He didn't even have the ball. Hoskins huh. slow to get up. Hoskins making a play for the ball, but he didn't have it, and he gets absolutely laid out by this Cash Hall goalie. I don't know how he's walking right now. Wow. And I'm not sure how there's not a flag down. Um, no penalty thrown in favor of the Trojans as Will Bogey going to check on 
his his player right there. Great for the Trojans to have uh, Will Bogey back coaching uh, this year. They um, he was a former player and is a great offensive mind for the Trojans and is definitely part of the reason why they're having such success on the offensive side of the field tonight. I really I'm really curious on what those refs were saying in that huddle there. I'm I'm not sure why there's not a not a flag. Yeah, wish I could watch that back and see see what they're seeing. You guys actually can watch this back after the game is over on Trojan TV. So if you want to go back and see what the refs were thinking, which I don't know if they were, yeah. um, <laughs> you, know, you can go back and watch that uh, and watch uh, that, that hit right there. That was an uncalled. Yeah. Refs, refs honestly doing a pretty great job tonight. I don't have really very many complaints, but yeah. um, I, I don't know if I agree with that call. <clears throat> See how the Trojans respond to Hoskins' big hit. See if they can get a goal here to finish off this pretty good third quarter from the Trojans. Yeah, let's see what let's see what Will Bogey, offensive coordinator for the Trojans, uh, can cook up here. Doramus, nice Money. shot from Doramus. Boom, Doramus with that the screen from Carson. Four. Two-time goal scorers in this game, Doramus, McAnally, Carson, Mariska, and uh, Jake Flowers. Wow, four players with two goals apiece. Wow. Yeah. Man. Jake really, Flowers. Really and, nice player right there. Jake Flowers and Jack Doramus doing the, the cooking up celebration there. If you guys want to watch it back, I'm not sure if we got <laughs> it or not, but that was that was pretty entertaining to watch there, man. They're, they're getting hyped for their goal to go up four points on Kasha Hall here. 16 seconds left in the third quarter. Trojans respond right there. Head up four with 16 seconds left to go. Je uh, Luke McAnally set to face off once again. This <coughs> time it's going to roll into the commando's <coughs> lap. Big nasty New Luke McAnally cannot. Whoa. Nice truck right there from behind. It's going to be a penalty. This one's probably going to roll over into the fourth quarter as this quarter Comes to an end. Trojans up eight to four. Very good quarter from the Trojans right there, taking a, a three goal to two yeah. goal lead in that quarter. Um, uh, Sam, what were your thoughts on that quarter, and and who was your MVP of of the game so far? Yeah, definitely. I'm. I got to give MVP to Jack Wiltshire in goal, man. I mean, he's he's going crazy. I don't know if Kasha Hall's stick shots are are just off tonight, or if Jack Wiltshire is having the game of his life, but. Well, I can't say game of his life because I've been a part of some games where Jack Wiltshire has um, been an absolute brick wall and goal like he is tonight. But he's definitely shown out. Got to give him the the three-quarter MVP. But uh, Kasha Hall with the spark, man. Uh, what, two goals that quarter? Yep. Uh, Max Fleming kind of leading the charge on the offensive side with an assist and a goal. Um, he's, he's, he's playing very physical and tough down there for Kasha Hall. Um, looking to see more out of him this quarter for sure. We will step aside just for a little bit as we head into this fourth quarter. Thank you for watching uh, Jinx Lacrosse on Trojan TV. Make sure you guys stick around for this very important fourth quarter here. We come back to you live on Trojan TV. You're watching Jinx Trojan Lacrosse on Trojan TV. I'm Jack Denny, uh, your play-by-play -play analysis uh, analyst. Excuse me, with Sam Stone, my color commentary. Um, Sam, a former lacrosse player, now a Jinx football player. Um, we've been uh, fortunate enough to commentate a wonderful first ever Jinx lacrosse game on Trojan TV. Uh, it's been a really good game so far for the Trojans. Up 8-4 to four against the Casha Hall Commandos. Uh, and this fourth quarter should be pure entertainment as we see who's going to win uh, in this first ever broadcasted game. 
Kasha Hall starting man up again this quarter. They've really struggled man up all night. Um, looking to see what they can do here. That one zipped to the back of the goal. I'm not sure. Missed. I'm not sure why we're man down. Um, but I think it was from the penalty in the last quarter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Kasha has not capitalized, and now we're even. Kasha again not capitalizing. Man, on the on I don't the know if they capitalized on any. For those of you who are not familiar with that terminology, uh, if you're familiar with the hockey terminology, power play, it's the same as that. Basically, when a team gets a penalty, they go man down. Good defense from Stone Farrell. Nice block wow. there from <laughs> Oh, my, my gosh. My MVP, baby. Jack Wiltshire having an awesome <clears throat> performance. Jack Wiltshire going absolutely crazy in this game in the goal. I don't know if the Commandos have, have capitalized on one man up. They have not. I don't, think, I, I don't think they have. I don't think they have. I have to look back at the stats, but I may be wrong on that. Does that do you think that goes to speak – about the Trojans' defense or yes. or Cash's offense? I think I think it goes to speak about a little bit of both. Uh, definitely the definitely the Trojans' defense because we're we're very long, we're very athletic, very fast guys, which is like ideal for your defense, man. We look really solid out here. Um, but Cash, I think, is just a little bit struggling with uh, passing and catching. Their shots look a little off. Something's just a little off about the this Cash Hall team tonight. Yeah, I completely agree. Trojans have just really been dominant uh, in, in terms of physicality, not letting the, the com commandos get, get very close to the goal. Yeah, Stone Farrell here on defense. They're even. Kasha running a 1-4-1 type look. A lot of good ball movement from Kasha, but oh, here nice we go. Nice move right there. That wow. Another block from Wiltshire. He has been just electric in goal today. I'm trying to come up with another term besides brick wall, man, but I can't yeah. think of anything. I mean, it's a it's a perfect word to describe what he's got going in those uh, three orange pipes tonight. Looks like there was a call on the field that the <laughs> commandos really disagreed with crease. right there. Yeah, they. I think they called crease violation on mm. uh, Kasha right there. Um, that's whenever a player from the other team goes inside that orange circle. It goes mm. to the other team's ball. So... I think the guy who shot Graham Kennedy fell in the crease and they called it. Oh, a no call right there. Wow. He was clearly over the 50-yard line. I mean, he was about five outside. yards over. I don't know what that ref is seeing. Uh, offensive coordinator Will Bogey is not happy about that one, man. He's letting that ref wow. have it. He was about five yards over. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was. Going he was about to, to crash into our, our sideline right there and yeah. into our players. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Trojans power through it. Under 10 minutes to go here. Jake Flowers looking to dodge. Being up uh, by four with under 10 minutes to go. Sam, what is your strategy? You stay aggressive or or do you uh, or do you kind of play a little bit passive here? Um, that's a that's a great question, Jack. Um, I think with a four goal lead, you got to stay aggressive. Hmm. Now, I will say there is a rule. Um, whenever you get inside two minutes, that you have, it's called get it in, keep it in. It means you have to get it inside the thirty yard line and inside the numbers, and you can't go out. So, like mm. where Jack Doramus just was, where he caught that pass, that would be a turnover if he caught it there inside of two minutes left in the game. So, when we get down to two minutes, it's going to get really interesting for the Trojans. But I would think they would stay on the gas pedal and try to score here. Um, but they look solid on defense, man. I think I think Jack Wiltshire has his defense right, and, mm. and, and they're looking solid. So I'd be pretty confident in their defense, even if we do slip up on the offensive side here and get a turnover. And, Sam, in a sport like lacrosse, how quickly can a four-point lead be erased? Yeah, totally. Um, I think it's not as dramatic as most people would think because of the um, – because of face-offs. So, and especially when you got a, a guy like Jack Wiltshire back there. Yeah, and totally. And also, one thing that most people may not think about is when you have a guy like Luke McAnally who can go mm. win face-offs, if Cash scores here, they're going to have trouble getting the ball back because Luke McAnally is going to probably yeah. win the face-off. Nice defensive play right there from Farrell. He might have just saved a goal right there, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Great play from, from Stone Farrell there, a vet. Uh, very physical, smart uh, defender on this Jinx defense. Trojans trying to hold on to this lead 
and come away with a victory. Eight minutes left to go. And Commando is going to receive a call from their head coach here. Sounds like 14. Let's see what the, yeah, let's see what they line up in here. This will be interesting. You heard 14? Yeah, that's what I heard. Mm. Not sure what that means. I'm not I'm not sure <laughs> either, man. I wish I did. They got one guy in the middle there. Wow, wow. What a shot by Owen Darby. Great shot to that right pipe. He looks hurt though, man. That man has taken a beating this game from this Jinx defense, but he rifles one into that far right post, gets gets past Jack Brickwall Wiltshire um, yeah. for the fifth time tonight, but but still up three. Uh, this ma that makes this a close game, man. Yep. Owen, Owen Darby looking in pain. I'm not sure what's going on there, man. Great shot from him, though. Wow. Going to be Arns in trotting back onto the field instead of Luke McAnally here for this faceoff. An, un an unlikely... Um, an unfortunate goal right there, for a miss right there from Jack Wiltshire. Yeah. Arns isn't going to. Kasha wins a faceoff. That's big for yep. momentum. Number it three fall. tripping up here a little bit. Oh, wow. We got a penalty on the Trojans. Kasha with a free play. This could get really interesting uh -oh. coming down these last seven minutes, man. Here we go. Score here will be crucial for the Commandos. If you're the Trojans, got to play really good defense here, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, definitely need to need to keep doing what they're doing. Let's see what this Trojan defense is made of. <clears throat> Jake Mahaney, tight defense on Clive Kimbrough here. Mahaney applying some some gentle pressure here. Commando swinging it around. The Big pressure nice steal. from Ramsey. Whoa! Oh yeah, we got a flag down. I forget about that. Oh. Yeah. Still a big turnover, though. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Good defense, man. That's kind of the common theme for the Trojans tonight is their defense. And Jack Wachar in goal, um, being real physical on these guys. I mean, that's what you got to do with it with a team that has good stick skills like this. you got to get up in their grill and um, disrupt. And uh, Coach Rosa and the Trojans have definitely coached that into these guys and, and made it part of the game plan. So it's definitely working for them so far. But we'll see – We'll see how good it works these last uh, six minutes and 45 seconds. Mando's looking to get something going here. Nice wow, shot. Wow, big blocks. slide from Braden Thompson. Thompson pushing ahead. Knocks quickly. Owen Darby down. That pass oh. stolen there. Commando's going to try to respond here. Farrell. Trying to get it out, and Thompson clears it to Emmons. Yeah, big hit there from Braden Thompson on number 17, Owen Darby. He's coming out of the game, I think. He's struggling. He's hobbling over the sideline, man. He's struggling to walk. Trojans defense has been really good so far. Six minutes to go. See if they can hold on. Not sure if you guys can hear or not, but Jack Wiltshire right here commanding this defense and it's been it's paid off so far man <clears throat> cash is look, looking to get an isolation dodge here i'm not sure why they would try to isolate evan simsack but because <laughs> he shuts it down baby nice play right there from the trojan defense nice outlet it's gonna be commando possession however did goalie get it yep Goal, we got to it. Going to stick with Kasha Hall here. Oh, oh goalie's my gosh. Out. Cole almost had advantage a free of this. Goal right still there. still out. Wow. That's a risky play from this Kasha Hall goalie number seven. Um, but it pays off, man. Kasha gets the possession. That might have been the right play at this point in the game. They got to be aggressive here. Five minutes remaining here. For the Trojans, got to hang on. Can't let three goals go by you. And that's going to be a shot. Got to be increased. Stolen away by the Trojans, shoved in the back, and no I'm no surprised flag. it's a no call, man. A little Getting scramble for really the ball. Really chippy. Cash down ends by up the with goal. It. Max Fleming, their, their guy who's hot tonight. Uh, probably the biggest producer on offense for catches tonight. 
see if he can make something happen. 4.30 to go. We're getting nearer and nearer that rule you were talking about a little bit earlier. Yeah. That two-minute mark coming that, upon us really fast. Now, I'm not sure if I'm right on this, but I'm pretty sure that rule only applies to the team who's winning. Mm. And it may be a certain goal mm. lead, too. Yeah. But I'm not sure. We'll, we'll just have to see. Four minutes to go now. Trojans starting a D-up <laughs> chant, encouraging their teammates. <clears throat> Trojans gets the ball to Max Fleming at X. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely obliterated. And it's going to be commando ball. Going to be on number 57, Evan Simsack. Absolutely headhunting in the, in the middle over X. Annihilates the, <laughs> the player that uh, Max Fleming lobbed that ball up to. Hoping for a goal there. but Just laid someone out right there. Yeah, yeah. That's where lacrosse gets physical. But, I mean, you, Jinx is going to pay the price for it, man. They're going to go man down here with four minutes left. Down three. I mean, it's it's definitely still a game here. And Cash has got some dangerous guys. So, we'll see how this goes. This will be interesting. <clears throat> Let's see if Kasha, again, not been capitalizing well on these man-up situations. Let's see what they have drawn up. They're in a 1-4-1 set now. 3.50 to go now. Commando's going to need a goal quickly. Reinhardt. Big check from Reinhardt. Fighting Renzi. for the ball. Wow. Oh, miss from Kasha. They're going to wish they had that I'm one back. Surprised. I'm surprised they didn't call crease violation there. I think that's what they're going to call. Yeah. Because that player jumped in the crease, but I don't think the, the refs were looking at the uh, sideline. Refs coming together here. Yeah, crease violation. Yeah. That's brutal. Still no capitalization from Kasha man. Hall on the man up situations. Let's see if uh, the Trojans can clear it here. Thompson. This clearance is stolen. <clears throat> Cash Hall has an opportunity here to make something happen. Big fast break, and they they decide to settle. Speeding up here, number. Big check from Ramsey Reinhardt to the wrist, man. That, that those do not feel very good. <laughs> Ramsey's done that to me in practice a few times. It does not feel very good. <laughs> And five getting past oh. the defense. Jack Wiltshire. Jeez, Jack again. Wiltshire. Phenomenal goalie. Absolute. Uh, putting on a clinic in the goal tonight from Jack Wiltshire. Trojans just, just keep getting it and giving it right back up. Yeah. I'm surprised Cash has not capitalized on, on all these opportunities. I mean, it's like we're throwing them an alley-oop here. They're not finishing it. Trojans, 2.30 to go. Clive Played Greenberg. some really great defense today. Yes, definitely. I think I think Cash has had opportunities. I don't think they've shot very well. Yeah. There you that go. That shot. Yeah. Also no good. An example of what I'm saying. Coach Gaylor here in attendance, uh, our defensive coordinator for football. He's a very influential figure for a lot of the guys on this lacrosse team as well. Pass nearly <clears throat> stolen away by the Trojans. Shot right there. Nice block from Jack Wiltshire. Jack Brickwall wow. Wiltshire with another save. I want to know his number. Out. I'm going to go have to go down and look at the stat sheet on his saves, man. This is absurd. He's had a really, really great game. As we head into a small timeout, we will be right back uh, following this short break. Stay with us on Trojan TV. Last two minutes of this game should be electric.
we're back here on Trojan TV. You're watching Jinx Lacrosse for the very first time ever, Sam. Yes, sir. I'm Jack Denny. This is Sam Stone. We have a final two minutes here in this Jinx versus Casha Hall game. Sam, <clears throat> what have your thoughts been so far uh, with two minutes remaining? Totally, yeah. This has been a battle. Jinx defense and Jack Wiltshire in goal looking really solid. While Jinx's offense has capitalized on pretty much every opportunity they have gotten, I don't, I haven't, have not seen a lot of missed shots from this uh, Jinx team. Um, Kasha Hall struggling a little bit with shooting, but they're getting, they're getting plenty of opportunities. Um, we'll see if their, their, their opportunities start to fall here in this last two minutes. Jack McAnally powering through <laughs> Kasha Hall, just backing him down. Absolute bulldozer! Wow, he just. Literally took that guy. Boom! That's what the a dagger. freaking play from Jack McAnally. Just took that guy 50 yards to the goal. With the dagger, Jack McAnally. Oh, my gosh. Jack McAnally polishes off a hat trick right there with a minute 45 to go. That's probably going to do it here at Allen Trimble Stadium. A minute 46, though. We'll stick around, see just what happens. But, wow, what a freaking play from Jack McAnally. You just got to give the best player yeah. the ball yeah. in that situation with – with a minute 40, you got five to go. Yeah. Um, Sam, what, what do you think the Trojans' philosophy is here? Up four, a minute 45. What do you think they're trying to do here? Yeah, definitely. If they get possession, I'm pretty sure it's get it in, keep it in. Yeah. Um, so they definitely need to be aware of that rule. I hope their coaches are harping it on them. Um, but if they get on defense here, if they lose this face off, uh, just they got to be patient. They still got a four goal, four goal lead here. So I think I think they got some good cushion. Really important face off here. Luke McAnally, the freshman, gets it to Halama. Fighting for possession for here. And it's going to end up into JJ Emmons. JJ gets Emmons. He gets it. Nice. Nice play right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. If there's not a there's, there there's go. a flag there's right yellow. there. Wow. And Carson Mariska got that hit a little bit late right there. A little bit early, actually. Yeah. He's kicked the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, a that's a completely legal in lacrosse, man. I've seen guys kick the ball into the goal before. Um, so yeah, there's there's some pretty crazy rules. Uh, strategy that a lot of teams and coaches use is um, that they coach in practice is like when the ball's in the in a kind of a scrum, like it has been a few times this game, is to kick the ball out mm. instead of use your stick. Yeah. to get it and uh, make it a lot easier on these guys. So. That's definitely a strategy, but um, yeah, there's there's definitely some interesting rules to this game, man. But uh, it's a great sport. Um, native origins, did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, uh, lacrosse originated from uh, native tribes. Um, I'm pretty sure that's like how they would go to battle with each other. So, <laughs> but the game has evolved a lot since then because we're playing it in high school now. So, <laughs> <laughs> minute eleven to go now. It's been a really, really fun game to watch. It's my first ever uh, lacrosse game to to commentate, and, and pretty much my second one ever. So I've learned yeah. a lot tonight. Uh, appreciate Sam Stone yeah. hopping on the broadcast tonight. He's been he's been really fun to hear. Um, and you guys, we will have another lacrosse live stream. Yeah, uh, I think in April. So make sure you guys click that red subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you guys can find out any time we post content. Uh, we have interviews with. Anyone you could think at Jinx High School. Uh, and if you guys want to see something, comment down below. And uh, we'll get that done. You guys can also go back and watch stuff. Wow, that's a close one there for Kasha. Yeah, close shot there for Kasha. But you guys can also go back and watch this game. Uh, watch any games we've done. Basketball, we've done football, we've done soccer. And now adding on to the lacrosse. Uh, 30 seconds to go here in this game. It's been a really fun game here at Allen Trimble Stadium. <clears throat> and the Trojans going to look... Another on wow. a win. Jack Wiltshire with another block. Pretty much just summarizes this whole night, really. Yeah. If you ask me, Sam. Extremely good game from Jack Wiltshire and this Trojan defense, man. This is impressive and fun to watch. As um, this clock runs down, Sam, through four quarters, who has been your MVP? I still got to go with Jack Wiltshire. He's having, he's having a great game, man. There you go again. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that was a save, but um, – He's yeah, he's playing really solid. I mean, that's kind of what I've always known him to be is that is that brick wall and goal. So yeah, yeah, Cash with a the goal there. It's hard not that? to say Jack 
uh, Wiltshire, but if I had to say someone else, I'd probably say Jack McAnally. He's yes, just with I the mean, hat trick, been a dominant force yeah. on the offensive yeah. end. Um, and I'm, I mean, you could give it to so many guys: um, Deramus, mm-hmm. uh, Flowers, and yeah. uh, Mariska all had two goals as well. Yeah. But Jack coming away with three. He's going to be my MVP this game. Yeah, totally. But, I mean, so many guys have had phenomenal games. Stone, Farrell, he's mm-hmm. been great. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Reinhardt, just really, really good performance all around from the Trojans here as they're going to come away with a win against Kasha Hall Commandos. Yeah, and talk, talk a little about that, about the Kasha guys who kind of showed out. There was Gus Griffin with a goal. I'm pretty sure young guy, 52, John Cannons, had a goal tonight. Um, number 91, Max Fleming, was a spark for this uh, – Kasha Hall um, offense as well, especially in the second half. Uh, Owen Darby with some good goals. Graham Kennedy had some good takes as well. So Kasha definitely is going to have a great season. I just think they had an off-shooting night tonight. But yeah. Jinx defense definitely definitely um, sparked that. You can definitely see the stakes at play here as the Trojans sprint over to their goalkeeper who had a great game. Yeah. It's been a really fun night tonight. I'm Jack Denny. This is Sam Stone. Make sure you guys subscribe to Trojan TV, and thank you for tuning in. This is Jack Denny for Sam Stone, signing out. Thank you, guys.